when you come out to a place like this, it's always amazing how much baggage you've got. It's not just the stuff in your car, your trucks, your suitcases. It's stuff in your own mind. So as you sit here breathing, think of the breath coming and just sweeping through the brain, sweeping through the heart area, and just sweeping out all the stuff you've been carrying around. They say that people who are psychic can look at someone and see what they've been thinking about. It just kind of shows up in their aura around the edge of the, around the, edge of the body. So think of the area around your body being swept down, too. You don't have to carry anything around. You've got just the breath, <coughs> just the breath, just the awareness. And there's a little commentator inside that's going to be saying, well, do this or do that, don't do this, don't do that. And for the time being, just tell that commentator, so just stay with the breath, stay with the breath. As for everything else, you can let it go. Because you find that the issues of the world are a lot easier when you're not carrying a lot of heavy stuff around. Most of us are like those coolies in Thailand. Back in the days before they had cranes to take things off ships, they actually required these guys who would carry these huge bags of rice or huge bags of whatever on their back up and down the planks in the ships. And of course, as they get older, they all, they're all bent over. And if you have somebody like that, you ask them, could you please help me carry this too? They have, There's no way they can help you carry anything else, because they've got their loads already. And same way with the mind. If you're already carrying a lot of stuff around with you, and something new comes up that you've got to deal with, it's just way too much. Even though it may just be the straw, the straw that breaks the camel's back. So learn how to put down your loads, and you realize that a lot of the other things that come up in the course of the day are a lot easier to deal with. Thoughts of the past come up. There's thoughts of regret, thoughts of resentment, thoughts of wanting this, wanting that. Unhappy that things are this way, that way, or we, they are this way, that way, but we're afraid they're going to change. Just put those thoughts aside, because the things you're thinking about, they're going to end someday anyhow. But what you will have is the karma of the mind. The karma of the mind, where you're making that, you're making it right here. So make some good karma. And this is one very special form of good karma, the mind sweeping itself clean, not carrying stuff around. Developing the mindfulness and alertness that you're going to need when something comes up. There's a story they tell in Thailand about this old grandmother who carries this huge load of straw around on her back. And they ask her, why are you carrying such a huge load of straw? And she said, well, maybe someday I'm going to need the straw, so I want to have it handy. And of course, she weighs herself down and she can't pick up other things that are of more value because she's got this big load of straw. And for most of the issues that come up in her life, the straw is not going to be the solution. And it's the same with our thoughts, it's the same with our, the things we carry around with us. They're not going to be the solution. The solution is going to be in having powers of mindfulness, having powers of alertness, having your discernment sharp. Because then no matter what comes up, you're ready for it. You've got the tools you need. So carry around only the necessary tools and everything else. Just let go. Let go. Clean it out of the mind. Clean it out of the heart. And you find that you're less of a burden on yourself, you're less of a burden on the people around you. Life goes a lot better. <laughs>